Now, if you go back historically, you can see illnesses very similar to this called many different things. And they tend to be um, reported in clusters. So there was a cluster um, um, of, say, battle fatigue that might have been something like this in both the two World War Wars, and they had different names. Icelandic disease was a cluster in Iceland. There was a Royal Free Hospital disease, which was a cluster in London. Myalgic encephalomyelitis is a name that stuck. The name is a really big deal. This chronic fatigue syndrome name trivialized this illness so profoundly that I think it really did pre prevent us from being seen seriously as an important illness for decades. And I, I'm, I and everyone else in the field regret that this initial name ever came to be and that we didn't chase it away faster. Now fatigue is really important in this illness. Fatigue is, is profound. People are mentally fatigued, physically fatigued, just exhausted and, and it is a terrible level of exhaustion. But it is hardly the right name for the illness because there's also pain involved, inflammation, cognitive problems, headaches, and I don't think people really realize this. This illness is wicked.